Main video 718. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. You got something to say? Let's have a conversation. What's going on, y'all? We got former NBA player Joe Smith. Him and his wife been going back and forth. He just found out she got an OnlyFans page. Like, an OnlyFans page. She had it for a whole year. He just finding out. So, as a man, we, we, we tight. I'm tight for him. Like, how you got an OnlyFans page? And then her response is like, um, um, you should have been paying attention to me. Nah, nah. My wife don't have no OnlyFans page. Matter of fact, she getting me mad right now. You know what I'm saying? So we let's just get into her response to the whole situation because it's getting real deep. You know what I mean? She was on TMZ. She had a little interview. Let's get right into it. How long is the account? Have you had the page? Um, I've had the page for at least over a year. Um, it's on my Instagram and my LinkedIn, but that's what happens when you don't pay attention to your wife, period. Um, and, you know, he has a friend that he's been entertaining and she decided that, you know, she wants to really put a wrench, a bigger, you know, wedge in our relationship. So she went digging around my page and was like, oh, do you know that she has this? And I blew it from that. I mean, it's no secret. Joe's financial issues, you know, mm -hmm. and I have always made a good life for myself, you know, um, before I met Joe, I was living overseas in Europe and I had established myself as a singer, you know, and I came back here, you know, thinking that with his persona and who he was, once we got together and I found out who he was, that it would only take off you know, other things, but, you know, not everybody's hustle and drive are the same. And depression is a serious thing also. So, you know, I've been just like, you know, supporting and dealing and going through his trials and tribulations with him. Um, I've started several businesses, you know, I've, I've been doing a lot, like, and I just was, I just figured out, like, figure out, I have a home in Cape Verde I'm trying not to lose and a, and a roof over here we're trying to maintain that we almost got kicked out of. So I just kicked in the drive and did what I had to do, you know, and he won't do it. So I had to. And I'm sorry, you knew I was an adult video star when you met me. So if my survival, if I would do anything for my own survival, then what makes you think that would change now? When I retired from the adult industry, I promised myself if I don't sing, I don't eat. So when, you know, my music career wasn't popping here when I left Germany and I stayed here for him, I figured, you know, I would, you know, start a business. I started a puppy friend social club. It's the dog sitting business. And then COVID happened and that screwed everything up. I have a, a moving company, you know, that he actually works for me. Like he works for my moving company. You know, it, I'm tired of being the one to figure shit out. So I figured it out the best way I know that can maximize the money that needs to come in because I'm tired of living like, you know, I'm tired of living yeah. minimal, you know? It's not, it's not fair. And I don't understand how you could have had such a maximized life and be so content. This is ridiculous. But we've been together for almost 13 years though. We've been together since 2012, like after his retirement. And it really wasn't a retirement that he wanted. It was a forced retirement because he just got locked out after the lockout in the 2011 lockout. You guys remember, right. you know, he just never got a new job. Nobody wanted him anymore. So, you know, there was a depression and I've been going, you know, dealing with all of this stuff and I'm sorry, you know, uh, that I, I'm not sorry for what I'm doing. I'm just sorry that he can't understand that it's not, that wasn't a selfish um, decision. It was a decision that I made. I made an executive decision when my man wasn't taking the lead. I really love Joe. Um, I just, I love him. Um, if we were like, if he never speaks to me again, I still will do things to help him or whatever I can because he's my family. You know, he's like an intricate part of my life and I just want the best for us. And I wish he wanted that also. That's really where I'm at.
you know, I wish that he wanted the best for us because he's not really wanting the best for himself. So I can't expect him to do for him what he, for me, what he can't do for himself, I guess. And that's why I just did what I had to do. Have you drawn that line in the sand that you will continue doing OnlyFans? Unless something else happens that, you know, changes that, no, I'm going to continue my OnlyFans. I think as a couple and just him individually, he needs counseling to help find out how to re-find his self and find his new place in the world, you know? It's really hard once you've had a major career, you were this number one draft pick, and then everything ends, you know? I, how do you how do you deal with that? I don't want to be alone, but, you know, if that's what it has to be, that's what it has to be. But um, I, I, I don't think we'll have a divorce. I don't think so. I think he'll, I think he He'll come around. Drop in a comment to let me know how y'all feel about the situation. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Peace.